It's not easy for the untrained eye to see it, but there is a tornado in this picture. You can kind of make out a small funnel at the base of the storm and a little circulation of dirt on the ground, but the vortex connecting them is invisible. Because of our extremely dry air, there's not always condensation in the vortex of a Colorado tornado to reveal the whole structure. Sometimes the only way we can see the whole vortex is if it's sucking up enough dirt to reveal the spinning column. While invisible vortexes make it difficult to spot some Colorado tornadoes, another factor makes them easier to spot in Colorado. Our tornadoes are usually very tall because the bases of our storms are higher up than most states. Last June, this tornado in Weld County was an estimated 10,000 feet tall. The National Weather Service called it the most visible tornado in Colorado history with it being in view of nearly 5 million people. The small tornado near the town of Iliff on Monday will be recorded as Colorado's first of what could be many confirmed tornadoes over the next few months. Colorado gets the eighth most tornadoes in the country with an average of 46 per year, but most of them are weak and happen away from the population centers. About 63% of them are rated EF0 like the one on Monday, which is the weakest on a scale of 0 to 5. And 95% of our tornadoes happen east of I-25. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. Mid-May is about the average time that we see our first tornado in Colorado. And right just now. about all of them happen over that three-month stretch between May and July. And June is our state's most active tornado month.